Could I have everyone's attention, please? I just wanted to thank you all for joining us to celebrate. Over the years, I'm sure some of you have placed a few bets on whether I'd settle down. But this couldn't be further from settling. I'd like to toast my beautiful fiance for making me happier than I thought I could ever be. Looks like we missed dinner. Clark, what are you doing here? Come on, Lex, you didn't think I was gonna miss this, did you? And look, my own mother would rather raise a glass with the enemy than stand by her own son. Clark, you're not yourself. It's okay, Mom. You're more a Luther than a Kent these days anyway. I mean, Dad's been, what, dead a year? But who can blame you for joining the race with Lana to see who's gonna add the Luther monogram to their name first? Lex, he's obviously on something and he wants us to react. Please don't. Chloe, I can't say that I'm surprised that you're celebrating here. After all, once Lana's off the market, all those years of unrequited pining may actually pay off. I can't say I haven't thought about it. And you. You know, I gotta hand it to you. If you were gonna rebound, why not choose the one person that I hated the most? But I mean, come on, Lana, the joke's over by now, isn't it? Clark, I think you've done enough damage. Why don't you leave? I am not done yet! Besides, Lex, I haven't given you my gift yet. Congratulations on sealing the deal. It's baby Luther. The real reason that Lana's marrying you. in this room is going to save you from Lex, then I will. I don't think so. Lana is your past. I'm your future. This is the present. <laughs>